So for the first time in five days, we're going to put the tires back up to road um, pressure, and um, we're going to be putting these boys back up to 1.7 here in the front and 1.9 at the back just because of the load. In 2021, we had an incredible adventure overlanding Botswana in our Suzuki Jimny. In part 5, we stay at a Salbe camp in Nata and camp at Gumarumi Gorge before making our way home to Cape Town. So we've just left Naipan and now we're on our way to Nata. So we were told that the road to Nata is not great. So <laughs> After a long drive and many potholes later, we arrived at a Salbe camp. So we have just arrived at a Salbe camp in Nata, camping along the Nata River tonight. Yeah, it's lovely here, camping under a nice big shady tree. Got some nice chickens around, a little resident doggy. He's gonna come chill with us just now apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we enjoyed a relaxing evening at Asalbe and fell asleep to the sounds of the Nato River. Asalbe is situated along the Nato River, just outside of Nata town. It is a great place to relax and the river makes it the perfect place for some bird watching. Andrew has made a little friend. We've aptly called her Lily. <laughs> Hi Lily. <laughs> she likes hanging out with Andrew there under his chair. So we're at the Nata Bird Sanctuary which is on the edge of Soa Pan. Soa means salt. Um, we're here to see some nice birds. Apparently there's some zebra and wildebeest and antelope here as well. Um, usually this is the sort of breeding spot for the greater and lesser flamingo, but they haven't arrived yet. We actually saw them when we were in Naipan. Um, so I think they're on their way here. We're just a few days early, but maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll see a couple. Yeah, we're just doing a little drive around now. Um, this is still part of Makarikari Pan, so it's pretty cool. We're on a little game drive now. The Nata Bird Sanctuary is a protected reserve managed by the local community. There are over 150 different bird species inside the sanctuary.
very angry spider. Yeah, we drove through a spider nest by mistake in the grass. And that's Mama. <laughs> and she is not happy with us. All her babies are currently on the, the front of the car. <laughs> and some of them were climbing on Andrew's arm. But now we're trapped. We're trapped inside Timothy. <laughs> Can't even open the window to look at all the nice birds on the pan. winning. As you can see my um, my uh, mechanic skills are <laughs> second to none. I am winning. So it turns out what had happened is the corrugations have basically moved the nut that sits in the little groove um, into the place that you put it in, the little hole. And so it's not stripped thankfully, it just means I've got an incredibly hard job of trying to move him along now, which is what the banging was for. <laughs> So this is our little home for tonight, it's kindly offered to us, which is lovely. This is one of the new safari tents, super cozy in there, looking forward to spending the night in there. So we've got our little chairs there, we're going to have a nice little bride tonight. <laughs> Very excited. That night we enjoyed a delicious braai with Rupert and Sylvia and another great night's sleep next to the river. That's Maremi Gorge over there, and Party Garmin's got us on another party road. Um, try and get there. So, hopefully, we get there before sunset. <laughs> Party Garmin. Two hours of 40 kilometers. Yes. <laughs> 
After leaving Asobe Camp, we made our way to Gumarumi Gorge, just in time for sunset. Welcome to Gumaremi Gorge Campsite. Got Andrew cooking us a delicious breakfast. We had quite a rough drive here yesterday. Party Garmin took us on a bit of an adventure again. So we're just taking it easy today. We're having some coffee. Got some bacon on the go. Make some eggs. Just have a nice chilled day. This campsite's beautiful. Lots of um, nice birds around. It's lush, it's green. We're going to go check out the gorge just now. So, all these are like permanent tents that they set up which was quite confusing when we arrived because <laughs> we thought someone else had taken our campsite. Um, but I think they're just always set up. And um, so if you don't pay to use them, you just kind of find your own little space in between them all and set up camp. <laughs> so it's like we're camping in a bit of a, a ghost campsite at the moment. But it's still very nice. And the beds look lovely. Yeah, it looks comfy. It would be nice to have a bigger pan, but micro overlanding. <laughs> Everything's small. <laughs> Very excited about this. Fresh coffee. Nice. Mm. And let's go. So we found a little spot here in between all these permanent tents. Quite handy, close to our little bathrooms over here. We've got our own private bathrooms, which is always nice. I don't think that there's a lot of game here, but we did hear some jackal last night. Definitely baboons. We've seen lots of their footprints and we heard them all arguing last night in the trees. Gumarumi Gorge is a protected heritage site in eastern Botswana. The lodge is lovely and offers both chalets and camping. They also offer guided hikes to the gorge. We didn't see much game during our short stay there, but we loved exploring the unique area and taking in the beautiful views. There's Jimothy, our steed, our uh, reliable friend, who has um, completely outshone himself 
on this adventure of Botswana. As you can see, he's still got a lot of the, the pans and some kawaii and maremi on him. Haven't needed to use the max tracks yet. What a champ. trying to book our COVID tests for our re-entry into South Africa, but they don't make it easy. So last night in Gumaremi campsite, or Gumaremi Gorge campsite, having a nice little braai, got some corn, some meat, and decided to make a little braai nachos again. It worked out really well the last time. Oh, I really love this place, it's beautiful. Tomorrow we leave super early, head to Gaborone, do our COVID tests and then spend our last night in Botswana back at Mokolodi Nature Reserve. Looking forward to seeing that place again. After an incredible month in Botswana, we found ourselves back at Mokolodi Nature Reserve, feeling like we had only just left. We left. Palapi very early this morning to try and get to Gaborone this afternoon to do our COVID tests, which we did. Not nice, <laughs> but um, obviously needed. So yeah, now we've arrived at Mokolodi. We're looking forward to having a nice chill. Might do a bra later, might go eat at the tea garden. We'll see how we feel. It's been a wild ride. It's yeah, been a fantastic trip. Yeah, very, really very, has been. Very happy to have done. Trip of a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come pick you up next week. We spent our last night sitting around the campfire thinking back about our amazing month in Botswana. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the series.
Yeah. <laughs>